Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 47. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codecrotty.com and make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Also check out the other videos. We have a really cool guest post the other day, so check that out as well. You can also find me on Google Plus if you're interested in that kind of thing. Today we're going to be talking about a module called Menu Attributes. And it's a very simple module, but it's pretty dang cool and it makes you or allows you to do some pretty cool things with menus on a Drupal website. One example of what you may need to do is if you look at the beginner media site, you can see that this over here is just a standard Drupal 7 menu, but each menu has a different icon and you notice there's also some slight jQuery effect on it as well. But each of those menu items has a unique class which allows you to add that icon onto the actual menu item. And that's all done through the menu attributes module. So we're going to take a look very briefly at how you can do that. We're going to hop over to our test site and I'm going to add a basic page just so we can have a couple different menu items. Go ahead and provide a menu link, leave it in the main menu, and we'll give it a little bit bigger weight. As you can see now I have two menu items and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each one of these a class eventually and go through what the menu attributes module can do. So I'm going to hop over to my command line and go to Drush and I'm going to download the menu attributes module. I'm also going to enable it. Now that that has been downloaded and enabled, I'm going to hop over to the modules page just to take a look. And I'm going to go ahead and click on configure. You may also need to set the permissions depending on who you want to be able to use this, of course. So I'm going to select the source for the main links is main menu. And if there are secondary links, you can select that as well. You can enable the title attribute, the ID attribute, and you can also provide defaults to these as well, just so if you want to default everyone to something specific. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different options here that you can basically turn on and then enable. And what this is going to allow us to do is we can come into structure, go to menus, and we're going to go to list links on the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and click edit on home and here I can give it a title so we'll go ahead and say code karate home an ID we could give it any type of ID we wanted we could give it a class if we wanted to say you know, this was some type of we'll just give it a main class just so you can see that it works the, if you had specific if you had a grouping of specific menu items that you wanted to display a certain way you could of course use classes so you could reuse it multiple times obviously the ID needs or should be unique in order for it to work correctly you can put styles if we wanted to open a new window we could set that there so as you can see it's all you can also put a keyboard shortcut which is kinda neat we're not gonna go through that right now so as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory pretty basic we'll go ahead and we'll edit the test page as well We'll go ahead and just add those things and we'll go ahead and say this one we want to open in a new window. So we'll save that. We'll come back to the home page. 
and we will open up our developer toolbar down here and we'll take a look. So as you can see there's an ID code karate-home the class is main class it's also active because we're on the home page you can also go into the next menu item and you can see there's a test page menu there's a main class which is the same that we provided and also has the target blank so if we click on this it's going to open a new window as you can see it's very it's a very basic module but doing this allows you to have a finer grained control over how you want to display an individual menu item. This way you're not limited to making every single main menu item look identical. You can go ahead and add these extra classes or ID fields so you can add icons or animations or anything like that that you need to using jQuery or CSS to target an individual menu item. That's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal, and we will be back again tomorrow with another cool module to take a look at, and we will go from there. Thanks again for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you next time.